Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozorg and in this video I want to talk about field output and history output requests in Abages. This is the table of content. I will talk about simulation of the compression test of hyperelastic cylinder, force displacement curve, typical outputs of a mechanical FE simulation, different types of solution dependent variables in engineering application, step dependency, setting the field output request parameters, frequency of writing the results on the ODB file, setting the history output request parameters, a special field output requests, field outputs that are related to subroutines, and finally, output tab in job monitor. In this video, field output and history output requests will be explained in detail. First, their physical and mathematical concepts will be explained. In the following, the procedure of setting their parameters will be presented in detail. For the sake of better understanding and clarification, these concepts will be explained comprehensively according to the settings of a model. The model is related to the simulation of compression test of a hyperelastic cylinder that is performed in the axisymmetric space by using both of the Abacus Standard and Abacus Explicit solvers. This is the model, this is the hyperelastic cylinder, and these are two rigid parts. This part is fixed and this part will move downward and compresses the hyperelastic cylinder. Finally, we will get this result and this is the Mises stress contour. And this is the force displacement curve of the simulation. Actually, the loading is displacement control. So we must calculate the force displacement curve and the green curve is obtained by using the static general step and the purple curve is obtained by using the dynamic explicit step. And as you can see, the results are similar. Here, I want to talk about different types of solution-dependent variables in engineering applications. Actually, we have two kinds of solution-dependent variables. The first one is psi1, that is a function of position and time. This kind of variable must be calculated and visualized as a field output in Abacus. The second one is psi2, that is only a function of time. This kind of variable must be calculated and visualized as a history output in Abacus. In this example, which is a typical mechanical problem, we are interested in obtaining the following results. A stress contour that illustrates the distribution of a stress in the model, a strain contour that illustrates the strain for each node of the model, displacement contour that illustrates the displacement for each node of the model, and finally, force displacement curve. These items must be calculated and visualized as field outputs, and this item must be calculated and visualized as history output. As you can see, field output and history outputs are step dependent. They can be deactivated or modified in the subsequent steps. Here, in step 1, a field output is created. And in the step 2, it is modified. In this step, its parameters have been modified. This is the edit field output request. In step 1, the field output 1 is requested. The domain of requesting field outputs is set to whole model. Actually, field output 1 will be calculated and visualized in the whole model. Frequency of writing the field outputs 
is set to every n increments and n is set to 1 and timing is set to output at exact times. If the timing is set to output at exact times, the output will be written at exact time points. But if the timing is set to output at approximate times, the outputs will be written at time points that are very close to the calculated exact time points. Field outputs must be selected from this list. In the next slide, I will talk about the frequency of writing the field outputs in detail. Now I want to show you the edit field output request in Abages. In a step module, I click on Field Output Manager, I select Field Output 1 and I click on Edit. Here you can see the settings of Field Output 1. A step, Domain, Frequency and Timing. And here you can see the Field Output requests. I go back to the slides. Here I want to talk about the frequency of writing the results on the ODB file. We have several choices. The first choice is last increment. If you select last increment, field outputs will be written at the last increment of the step. The second choice is every n increments. For every n increments, the results will be written at the nth increment. The third choice is evenly spaced time intervals. If k is entered for the number of intervals, the step is divided into k time points that are equally spaced from each other. The fourth choice is every x units of time. If a value is entered for x, such as 0.02, the outputs will be written every 0.02 seconds. It depends on the assigned unit for the time like second, millisecond or nanosecond. And the final choice is from time points. Now I want to show you the edit history output request. As you can see, edit history output request is similar to edit field output request. The name of the step, domain, frequency, timing, and list of history output requests. Here, domain is set to set and a set is selected here that its name is RP. Now I want to show you these settings in the abacus. In the step module, I click on History Output Manager, I select History Output 1 and I click on Edit. In this simulation, we need the reaction force in the second direction and we need the displacement of the upper rigid part. So I have selected RF2 and U2 for set RP. Actually, I have defined a set from the reference point of the upper rigid body. And I have selected it in the edit history output request. The load is applied to the reference point of the upper rigid part. So I have defined a set from this reference point and I have used it in the history output request for obtaining the 
reaction force. I go back to the slides. Now I want to talk about special field output requests. In addition to the general field output requests, like stress, strain, and displacement, some specific field output requests can be calculated in particular analyzers. Some of them are introduced here. XFEM outputs including fill SM, PCL SM, and status XFEM, and damage outputs like SDEG, CSD, MG, and DMI CRT. Now I want to show you these parameters in the abacus. I click on Field Output Manager, I click on Edit, a Status XFEM, SDEG, DMI CRT, Fill SM, and PCL SM. Here I want to talk about field outputs that are related to subroutines. If the USDFLD or U-field subroutines are implemented to solve the problem, field variables must be selected in the list of field output requests for visualization. If a state variables are implemented to solve the problem when using subroutines or embedded subroutines, they must be selected in the list of field output requests for visualization. If the UVARM subroutine is implemented to solve the problem, UVARM must be selected in the list of field output requests for visualization. Solution dependent state variables, field variables, and user defined output variables can be selected from this section. A state field user time in the edit field output requests. When the simulation is running, from the output tab of job monitor, you can check the procedure of writing the field outputs on the output database file. Each set of field output will be written as a frame on the output database file. When it is declared that a frame is written on the ODB file, even during the running of the simulation, you can switch to the visualization module and check the results up to that moment. Additionally, you can check the history outputs when the job is still running. When the simulation is running, even you can check the history outputs. In the visualization module, from the output databases, you can go to the job that is running and check the history outputs. In this simulation, I have defined two history outputs for the set RP. And as you can see, they can be selected here. N set RP, a spatial displacement U2, reaction force RF2. I want to show you the history outputs in the Abacus Visualizations module. I go to Job Module, I click on Job Manager, and I want to open the results of Job 2.2, and this is the deformed shape. And these are the requested history outputs. Here I can plot the RF2. It is RF2 and this is time. In the following tutorials, several useful tools of the Abacus visualization module will be explained in detail. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you might have about the explanations presented in this video using the comments below. You can contact me by using Telegram or WhatsApp, or you can send email to me. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on the AnyDesk, WhatsApp, and we can make special tutorials to your order. 
We can perform high quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Now I want to suggest you two related videos of our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.